Fern drag strip, and we're interviewing two of the racers, Jessica Biscay and Sheila Biscay. One of the things that, that we wanted to talk to the drivers about today is what got you into driving. You know, just kind of tell your story about how you became a drag racer. A drag racer. Um, <laughs> I did not grow up around cars at all. Uh, I met my husband when I was 17, and he grew up at the drag races. His dad and his siblings and uncle, they all race, and so our first date was at the drag strip. Here at Woodburn? No, or? it was up in uh, Washington, at Bremerton, or at Pacific. So you're from Washington? Yes. What part of Washington? Uh, McClary, near Olympia. Okay. okay. And that's where you go to school? Yeah. Yeah. So is it, is it exciting for you to tell your friends at school about what you do on the weekend? Yeah, I bring pictures and I bring my plaques. Our plaques. Well, tell, tell the viewers what plaques are. Uh, plaques are... What do you get them for? How can you get plaques? Oh, you get plaques for when you win or you get runner-up and when you race. Yeah. I got two of them. Today? Well, I got one from last my, from my last two races. I got one from my last race. And, and what kind of car do you race? A junior dragster. What color is it? Blue. And so we have some pictures of you. Yes. 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 Because you race today. Yes. Is it exciting for you? Yeah, I got up to third round and then I red lit. When you say red lit, tell the viewers what red lit is. Red lit is when you leave too early on your um, when the green light. Leave before the green light. Yeah, you leave before the green light and or you break out. And so does that happen because you're like so excited? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It is. They go yeah. half track with yeah. the junior. Half track. Okay. Yeah. 
our whole family races. Grandpa, aunts, uncles, cousins. In fact, Tasha Biscay was a high school champion at this track last year. Exciting. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That, that's awesome that you have a family that races together. It like is that. so awesome. It's neat to have it's like fun. family reunions yeah. every couple weeks. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that must happen a lot because we've met a lot of people out here who are family. A lot of family. Yeah. And what, a woman that we interviewed just a little bit ago. Her whole family. Weekends, it'll still be cool to be at the track. Yes. So we'll yes. know where they are, and yeah, it's okay. Yeah, we discussed that earlier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you need a zero three five or better.
did you have to do to the uh, um, snowmobile to get it to ready for the drag? Well, you just put a skid frame in the back of it, and they make some little high-speed bearings in the wheels from the front. The skis cost about oh, you could convert a stock one for about a thousand bucks. Awesome. Uh, well, we actually started, we were sand drag racers, and we started sand drag racing, our son is 27, so about 27 years ago, 25 years ago. And our son now races with us here at the Grand Strip, and that's really fun. So you have a lot of experience, Yes. and it's also a family affair. Yes. Sure, you take and pride in it. We do, yeah. right. And my husband and son that is racing out here today. And their names are? Nick and Dan. Nick Shepard runs a car in the pro class, and we run a car in the super pro class. And they actually, the race car that we run now, they actually built that in our garage at home. Yeah. And, so yeah. Nick, and in Nick's case, I always like to tell the story of him because he actually gave up racing for four or five years to go to college. And the reason, one of the reasons he went to college was because he needed, he need, knew he needed some money to race. And this is really was his passion also. And so he's actually a CPA. Mm -hmm. And so he runs his pro car. And, and as soon as he finished, or as soon as he graduated from college, him and Dan had bought a car together that they again built a car for Nick and they did it in Nick's garage this time. And so they're out here too. He's out here too. So we are, and my husband and I both have the same car. You know, they interviewed me a long time ago and I told this story a long time ago and it, to me I just loved it. I worked with seniors a long time ago for several years and there was a table where the senior citizens would all gather together. And there was this one lady there, and I knew, she was probably 80-some years old, and I knew that her husband, one of her husbands, because she had been married more than one time, had actually worked on one of the Indy cars many oh, years exciting. ago, right? Yeah. And so we're all sitting at the table there together, and we were just chatting, and all of a sudden she looks at me and she says, you know what I miss the most? And I said, what? And she said, the smell of the fuel. <laughs> and I thought, here's this 80-year-old lady and only somebody that actually had been there and done that would know that. And there is, there's a sweetness to the fuel and there's just, there's, if you have a passion for it, you have a passion for it. You really do. That's an awesome note to end on. Yes. The passion. Yes. yes. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you guys. Yes. Yeah, it was easier. You made it easier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs>